Hello and welcome to another edition of the Insight from the studio of Thomas Adomi University. I am your host, Abib Kaode Yahya. On this episode, we will be talking about the quality and standard education and how Thomas Adomi University is offering it. I have a special guest in the studio today who will be giving us insight into how this privileged and reputable international university is stepping up the game in terms of quality and standard education. But before we begin the discussion, let me quickly tell you about why education is the beauty of existence. You see, education is a part of freedom. It is the golden tool that we can use to build our kingdom. Education gives us the knowledge and opens the door to wisdom. Education is like a sun for instance. It brightens our day and gives us the chance to dance and glance, the chance to pace and plan wisely in every circumstance. It creates a lot of distance between us and ignorance, so let's value the importance without any reluctance. Education is definitely the cure to our blindness. It is the light that overcome our darkness, the food that could only end our starvation, the pure that could only make us shun corruption in our nation, bringing us into the realization of our decision, leading us to a path of integrity and integration. Without education, there can never be any other occupation no doctors, no police in the station, no teachers, no lawyers or any of their jurisdiction, no history, no revelation, no technology, nothing as civilization, no cars, no road, no big ships sailing on the ocean, no plane, no trains, no drug to relieve our pains, no gas station, no knowledge of how to relate with associations or even our relations. Education is the beauty of our existence. It's God gift to humanity, a treasure we must continue to seek with persistence. It is beyond the lesson within the four walls of our school. Life itself is an institution of learning with regret sometimes as teachers, failure as foundation to sources, and experience as books. Education is the defined word in the revelation it is the science of secret and the art of articulation it is the sword of elevation that smashes the mirror of retrogression with education we can identify and value the reality of unity we can summon the courage to convert our difficulty into opportunity and make sources our everyday activity with education, we can make prosperity our responsibility. We can beautify humanity with our integrity. Education is the continuous search for knowledge till death grips us with its cold hands. Now, thank you for listening to that um, spoken words on how education is uh, the beauty of our existence. And at this moment, I want to specially uh, welcome our guest who will be discussing uh, quality and standard education together. But before I uh, go for that discussion, let's quickly take a break. Thinking of applying to a world-class university for your undergraduate programs? Thomas Adewumi University is your best choice. Our 2022-23 undergraduate admissions are still in progress. Visit our website at www.tau.edu.ng to begin your application. You can as well call our admission hotline at 0905-3929-899. Okay, welcome back. Um, this is The Insight. And as you can see, I have a special uh, guest in the studio. It's, she's not actually a guest, but you know, in this show, she's a guest. And uh, she is our content marketing manager at Thomas Adeumi University. And together, we'll be talking uh, on what is actually standard and um, quality education in Nigeria and how Thomas Adeumi um, University 
is often it. Miss Remy, how are you doing? I'm very well. I like the fact that you corrected I'm not a guest <laughs> because, but well, today I'm more like a guest on your show. Okay. So thank you for having me. So how have been work? Uh, not bad. Well, work has been working. <laughs> Okay, that's good to know. So I'm glad um, you are able to join me in this edition of the Insight to talk about what's really quality and standard education and how Thomas Adelman University is offering it to the world. Um, so first of all, let's start with um, quality and standard education. If they mention this phrase to you, quality and standard education, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Uh. I would say um, education is um, at the end of the day when you've been taught about something or you've been given an information about something and you can retain it and without really having to struggle to like cram or whatever, you can put it to good use. So it could be an information, it could be a skill, it could be whatever it is. Any um, knowledge that can be transferred to you and then you can replicate it or put it to use even in a better way and you can use it practically i think that is what we call education so um for me i would say what we have in nigeria currently is um, the cliche type of education that we all call education like the formal cliche type of education you just go to school um you want to read to pass your examinations and then you just want to come out and have and a degree and that's it but many at times you get out there you can't even apply the knowledge you can't even remember half of those things so many times that you've been taught within the four walls of the classroom talk us of having to now put it into application so um for me the education is when you've been when you've successfully transferred knowledge to someone and then they can apply that knowledge into practical things. I mean, use it practically. That's education for me. Okay, so I think that goes along with standard education. Now, when we talk about quality, now we're stepping up uh, the, the intensity of that education. Quality education, um, how would you define it? Hmm. Uh, like I said earlier, the quality um, comes out in the products that you've made. Do you understand? Like at the end of the day, what are the kind of graduates you're producing? So um, if your graduates cannot go out there and make a difference, they can go out there and solve problems. I don't think um, your education is can be you, tagged you, yeah as quality, quality education. Yeah, you, you can't term that as quality education, so to speak. So the quality comes in. Um, the kind of products you have at the end of the day, the kind of graduates you have, to what extent are they useful to themselves and to the society out there? Okay, so uh, we are talking about um, nurturing people that would actually go to the real world to solve problems, mm -hmm. to incubate ideas and use their ideas to solve problems, become mm -hmm. job creators. Yeah. And, um, and you kind of say that um, it is... Uh, the, the the education system in Nigeria um, is becoming a cliche of I just want to graduate and go outside. Yeah. But quality and standard education is when you are nurturing um, your the students mm -hmm. so that when they graduate they becomes employable in the real sense. Yeah. Not that okay, they I don't know what to employable. They become problem solver uh, solvers, and then I mean they can be useful to themselves and the society. You know, okay. at large. So, uh, like, say, in uh, in a few sentences, if quality and standard education is available, let's say, in a country, in, mm -hmm. in Nigeria, yeah. what, what would be the benefit of it? I mean, everybody's going to um, gain from the advantage of that. I mean, everybody stands a chance to be happy at the end of the day. So we have a lot of problems in Nigeria as a country. And just imagine if we begin to produce graduates who will not just come out and then it's like they haven't even passed through school at all. But at the end of the day, they come out, they're like, OK, in terms of government, let's do this and this. And I mean, election is coming right now. If we have young people, we can sit down and strategize on uh, the best way to have a free and fair election. It's something um, we uh, we have a lot of industries that we can, you know, 
startup in Nigeria. I mean, look at the fintechs, for instance. We are beginning to have young people take over the financial yeah. industry. And we are seeing the effect of that. I mean, it's making a whole big, a whole lot of huge difference in the financial well, sector. Let me quickly come from that. Like, when, when you mentioned the fintech, the first thing that came to my mind is that um, digital, like the world is moved by digitization. Yeah. The banks are being digitized. The media is being digitized. Education is also being digitized in the sense that the platform for education is now on the digital platform. And um, the skills that people want to do all over, let's say I'm a banker, I'm a, you will need um, a very robust um, digital orientation for yeah. it. And I think that also connects to what you are saying about quality education. Because mm -hmm. um, if these people are not um, knowledgeable about this digital, or they don't have that yeah. sound quality, they mm -hmm. can't think of creating um, such um, uh, inventory, such yeah. in inventions. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we've talked about standard and quality education. Mm -hmm. And uh, now we want to talk about Thomas Adeumi University. Okay. You know, uh, I think for people that have heard about this university so far, um, I'm sure when they hear Thomas Adeumi University, they are always um, connecting it to a university that maintain a standard and quality education. So let's now begin this discussion. Thomas Adolfo University. What make this university? What make this university unique? And why is it special among other private universities? Okay. What are the things that they offer that makes it like okay? This is a university I, I can recommend to to anyone. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about it. Um, so I I like the routes with which um, this discussion has been going so far. So now we, we've talked about education, right? And then we're talking about quality education. So we can see that with what we have in the country right now, or what has been existing in the country, um, has been just the usual. So Thomas Adewumi University is coming in to bridge that gap between what we know as the usual and then the new thing that should come in and, you know, set things straight and make a difference, really. So Thomas Adewumi University is now in the picture, bridging that gap between the cliche type of education and the cliche type of graduates we are producing or we've been producing in the, in the country to having those ones that can come in and make a whole lot of difference, you know. And that is why... Uh, when you see the, um, the angle the university is coming, coming from, from, irrespective of whatever program you're coming in to do, be it a four-year program or a five-year program, in whatever field, you know, you have been attended, um, admitted to come study in, at the end of the day, have a digital skill. Because like you said, everything is getting digitized. So how do you as a graduate want to be able to meet up or merge up with the world out there how do you want to go outside even even outside nigeria and then still be relevant still be useful to yourself bring relevant ideas to the world you know be a chain maker so you can't go out there as a regular graduate who some graduates can't even use a computer properly like proficiently. Some people can use some softwares on a computer, even the general ones. So Thomas Adeomi University is saying, okay, irrespective of what you're studying, you have to have at least two digital certification wow. recognized globally before leaving the university system. It's even one of like the prerequisites to get your degree certification because if you haven't completed those terms of having those digital skills, you're probably not going to get out of the system with your degree certification. So with all the things you've said, um, it means the university is providing a long-term solution to um, the issue of continuous, um, uh, continuous evolution of professions mm -hmm. into the technological um, aspect. For example, before uh, we've learned about um, carpentry, um, let's say all the all the professions that that Nigerians have made petty. Like I can't be a carpenter. I can't be something. Now these the these things have evolved into technology. Yeah, understand. Like somebody can be a carpenter and use a software to do size and so which means 
Thomas Adelmi is solving um, the long-term solution of uh, all these problems. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, apart from the digital, this thing, what, what, are, other, uh, what are other ways Thomas Adelmi is, you know, stepping up the game of standard and quality education? Okay, so um, there's also entrepreneurship and skill acquisition. So, uh, I mean, you can just, you, we are looking towards producing um, uh, entrepreneurs, people that will be job, um, not just job ready, but they will also be um, employers of labor. So even if you get out of Thomas Edwomi University, I mean, you graduate from the system and then you go out there, you don't have to wait to get a job and work with somebody. Your own, um, you, you might be as good, you know, as just getting funds and then creating business and be able to, you, you be an employer of labor yourself. And, and in return, also creating, um, em solving the unemployment. Exactly, um, exactly. So um, the skill, skill entrepreneurial skill uh, acquisition is also there. Apart from that, Thomas Adewomi University is seen to partner with other universities outside the country. So there is room for exchange programs. Those in computer and software engineering department, at some point while they are studying, they will have to go and do a semester or a session abroad with a particular one university out there. And then there'll be exchange of faculties as well. So um, lecturers abroad can also come, can come to Thomas Adewumi University and then lecture for a semester or a session before they return back to their university. Oh. So in that way, you're not just limiting yourself to your environment or the knowledge you can just earn nurse around here. We're also trying to see, okay, bring in someone from the outside world or you go out there and see how it is done and then before you know it you have an overall cooked up graduates from Somerset Omi University. Uh, that's more like a well baked bread exactly. with all flavors so exactly. wherever you're going you have something like exactly and then um, an environment really matters when it comes to education so here in Somerset Omi University there's a serene environment there is nature surrounding you the quietness is there beautiful the, trees, the campus is shady. solar powered so we have a 214 KV, no, sorry, kilowatt um, powered solar farm. So, I mean, there's no noise of generators. That's green and all energy. That. Yeah. So, if you look at it, I mean, what more <laughs> could you be asking of if you need quality education? education? And apart from that, it's not just quality wise, it's quite affordable. So, you have the opportunity to pay in three installments. And then the facility around here, every department, for instance, where we are shooting right now, is our mass communication studio. Yeah. And we can tell you that anything you want to find in a, in a proper setup studio, you know, yeah. the latest gadgets are right here. Yeah. So if a student is being taught under this kind of environment, I mean, you can go out there and compete with anyone out there, right? So yeah, so I, I think um, the applicant for mass communication students, I think, um, I think I should use this avenue to tell you that Come to Thomas Adeumi University, like she says, um, there, there are enough um, gadgets to drill you into becoming a full media-oriented person. And that's and, and what let me Thomas add that it's not just the mass communication. This is just like a life example. Okay. I mean, the nursing department, the physiotherapy department. I mean, we have up to like 16 programs right now and we have and all the, uh, which of the lab which is well equipped exactly okay there was a there was a time i uh i went for a gym out of physiotherapy uh physiotherapy lab. imagine like uh you know this is like a school that um, <laughs> we are overstepping the what we call quality and standard education mm. because we are not only educating you in terms of uh, the mind Mm -hmm. We are in Many terms of health, you know, in, you know, in terms of uh, um, extra skills, well certifications, yeah. in terms of uh, introducing you to culture, a lot of culture, you know, from abroad to exchange program. So I think um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful thing Thomas Adelmi University is doing by stepping up this standard um, and uh, stepping up the game of standard and quality education. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, okay, let's talk about... Let's say you've mentioned a lot. You've mentioned the fact that um, the university is doing uh, an exchange program, which means 
the um, professors from outside the country mm -hmm. can come into the Sometimes school and lecture. They even lecture virtually. So yeah. You don't have to even wait for them to be on campus before you can, you know, learn from them. Some of them will be doing virtual uh, trainings or, you know, tutoring for some of these programs as well. Oh, uh, and regards to that, um, uh, to, 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 be, to be candid, um, in Thomas Adeo University also, like, most of all the things we do, yeah, we have our own um, pure water factory, and we have our own uh, farm, a big farm, where all the things we eat in our cafeteria is processed. Like uh, I will take that back. It's okay. not a pure water factory. Because when you get there, it's oh, a water... Water factory. It's a water it's, resource um, uh, department on its own. Water resources department on its own. Because when you see what is there, it's beyond um, just um, starting the company and just producing water right the gadgets that, that the equipment that are there to make sure we have the cleanest of water in different packaged varieties i think i mean that's something yeah so okay for talking about accommodation um can you kind of expand it on oh my god the accommodation the of Thomas you know students are coming in mm -hmm. it's also part of the standard education accord that they are giving accommodation because where you rest you know is where you get comfort to able to pursue what you are so okay i mean i've i've been to all the alls both the male alls and the female alls that's some people call these hostels we have one of the best students alls in the country i mean it's so comfortable that even i would have wished probably when i was in school <laughs> i had that kind of comfort because i mean going to class having a stressful day reading and all of that and then you are able to peacefully rest in a very comfortable environment you know it, it helps your mental um development too. it helps you develop so well mentally so uh the alls are top notch i mean you have everything you can think of to have a comfortable life as a student and we have rooms of six beds we have rooms of four beds we have rooms of two beds according to your preference so you get to choose what you want and either of them is not bad at all so very comfortable environment indeed that's, that's good to know um thomas Adel university has a lot of courses that we are offering at the moment um Starting from uh, our nursing, uh, we have a uh, BSc in nursing science, we have physiotherapy, we have um, mass community. We have um, more than 15 programs that is available uh, to study at Thomas Ade University with um, certification, skills certification. And you didn't mention the fact that we, uh, our international affiliations with um, okay. Coursera, uh, Microsoft. Oh yeah, uh, it's part of the digital um, building up of the student, building up the student digitally, the, the certification we're talking about. So we have affiliations with some of this uh, global, you know, and world-class organization, the e-learning facilities. We have um, Coursera. We have the Microsoft uh, Emergence Academy. Uh, almost all our students are enrolled with, with them right now, taking the Microsoft Emergence program. I mean, you have to choose which area you prefer. There are so many programs, you know, you have to choose which one you take interest in the most. And there is none of them that is not useful. And it's not about just taking it. By the time you present your certificate, I was even that alone will speak for you. We are also, we just had a partnership with Oracle and um, there are a whole lot coming up. So, I mean, uh, Huawei is another company that's taken so much interest because they've seen our line of operation. Yeah, they, they came around and, recently. Yeah, last week. Yeah. So they want our students to participate in their ICT competition and a whole lot more coming up. So. So I, I think these are the amazing things um, a student enjoys um, if that student is a, uh, a student of Thomas Adeum University. And I, I think if I had a mini-me that could, you know, <laughs> if I can create a mini-me, yeah, <laughs> I would just come into Thomas Adeum University because I'm sure um, there are a lot of private universities. There are a lot of universities. But which universities um, have this kind of vision mm. to transform a student into a globally employable, digitally certified, idea incubators, you know, solving um, problems of Nigeria, 
uh, you know, I, I think Thomas Adeumi v University uh, is uh, the perfect school that every student needs to enroll yeah, in. Yeah, we are the way to go. Yeah. And um, I would say that there is nothing you can think of getting abroad that is not here. And that's the vision of the founder. He wants to make sure that that's, that gap that needs to be bridged is actually being bridged with the emergence and coming in, into existence of Tomana University. University. So you, I can guarantee you, I can assure you that that thing you think is missing here in Nigeria, educational sector, is right here in Thomas Adewumi University. Oh, thanks you so much. Thank you so much for... Uh, I, I know you probably had like more thousands of uh, what to Thomas Adewumi University because mm -hmm. of the, the time constraint that we have here. Yeah? Yeah. You are able to restrict it to a few of... They are, they are not even few, but they are still like... In terms of what you still want to mention, they are like, okay, so... Uh, I really appreciate the fact that you come along um, and you give us this insight You're about welcome. how Thomas Adeumi University is stepping up the game of quality and standard education. So, so your last word for admission seekers, what would it be? Uh, I would say don't wait, don't think about it too much. Just go right now to the website www.tau.edu.ng and click on the apply now button and start your application immediately our admission window is still open but get on it right now and come join the group of scholars that we are raising here in thomas adewumi also if you haven't um selected thomas adewumi previ previously in your jam application form you can just go onto the portal and do a change of institution form and then you're good to go and even if you can't undo it on your own just give us a call. We'll be right there to attend to your needs. So that's it. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming to. Uh, You're welcome. At Thank this you. point, we'll be rounding up uh, this edition. And I'm very much sure that you are enlightened, informed, educated by what we call standard and quality education and how this prestigious reputable thomas adewumi university domiciled in okokwa state is stepping up the game to provide quality and standard education that will transform students into globally employable idea incubators and extraordinary graduates. Uh, I am also privileged to say that uh, the founder and the VC have been pulling uh, the university to a very successful um, show and we hope uh, it will continue to be like that. Uh, my name is Habib um, Karade Yaya and uh, with me is uh, Miss Remy Lekun Lilian Duodola, the um, the Chinese Nigeria. Really? Uh, the Chinese Nigeria <laughs> in really? the studio. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you all listening to this and um, our 2023 admission is going currently on, like she has said, head to our website and you know go to the application form make sure you start you choose your preferred course and uh, make sure you get over the requirement of the choosing prefer of the preferred course and after that you can go on with the application portal you can also call our admission line which will be available on this uh, so for more guidance and uh, we appreciate you um, listening and watching this um, edition of the program um, all thanks to um, our um, engineer here, um, that's Mr. Sade Ezekiel, who has been behind the camera. And on behalf of the founder, co founder of the Governing Council, the Vice Chancellor of Thomas Adeo University, management, staff, and students of Thomas Adeo University, I wish you the best. And I'll be open to see you in our next edition. Bye.